So Micron has officially created the first ever one and a half terabyte micro SD card. So this is the card right here, you know, super cool stuff. You know, we had one terabyte uh, micro SD cards uh, for a while now. So, you know, going higher than that, you know, that was going to happen as technology evolves anyways. Uh, and, you know, it's finally here. It's not yet released and we do not yet know the price point. Uh, it's probably going to be super expensive when it comes out because we still do have some supply shortages not to mention you know when you release a product like this for the first like little while it's going to be super expensive just as like i believe Sa uh, sandisk was the first one that released the one terabyte micro sd card and that was like super crazy expensive for a while uh so yeah this is the card it is using micron's uh 176 layer 3d nand process with a focus on performance and endurance because uh, it's good that they're not focusing on it being slow and uh, quick to uh, break. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be positioned uh, more towards, like, sort of business, you know. I mean, because, I mean, who, like, what kind of a normal consumer really requires such a big uh, micro SD card? Not, not a lot of people, you know. So, it's going to be positioned uh, towards stuff like police body cameras and, like, dash cams and large uh, vehicle fleets. Uh, and it's also gonna allow for up to eight AI, AI events per second. So let me see. Uh, here we go. Up to eight AI events per second. So, you know, for instance, you know, that could be when you have a dash cam, you could be running facial recognition or whatever kind of software on top of that. And it's gonna be able to handle 4K video. So, I mean, that doesn't really tell us how fast uh, it's gonna be, you know, uh, but... But yeah, uh, super cool stuff. I think another target group for uh, this uh, product will also be mobile gamers, you know, specifically people who play on the Nintendo Switch and on the Steam Deck, you know, because this is, it's a lot of storage for such a tiny little card, you know, so really cool, not yet released, probably going to be super expensive when it comes out. Uh, but yeah, you know, technology evolving and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy. I still I still have like, little like 128 megabyte micro SD cards that are like probably close to two decades old at this point. Not really, but they're super old and, you know, one and a half terabytes. I mean, my first computer had like a 40 gigabyte hard drive. So yeah, cool, v very cool stuff.